I think he is one of the most important players on our defense because what he does is so unselfish. You know, he doesn't make as many plays as a lot of nose guard, but he's the best at what he does in the country, which is, you know, taking on double teams, squeezing down the center so other guys can come free. And, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't complain about it. He doesn't talk much about it, but he just does his job, so. Sam, other than Tyquan, none of the other guys in the lineup were starters last year, and yet, even losing Bosa, losing the Dolphins, you guys are as good or better as a unit than last year. How do you explain that? I think it's, um, you know, we're replacing them by a lot of guys working together, and we rotate so much that there's so many guys fresh that we're playing so fast at all times, and, you know, everyone just is, Focusing on being fundamentally sound and you know, big plays will come, but I think it's just the fact that we have so many guys that are playing at a high level, that's how we're able to increase our level of play. And are you blitzing less now than you did even last year because you're getting consistent pressure on the front four? Yeah, we really don't, haven't been dialing up many pressures at all. We've been sending four guys and winning our one-on-one -on -one matchups and teams play us differently. They try and get the ball out faster. They, you know, they roll out and do all types of things to Keep pressure off them, but you know we just got we send four guys and we usually get there. So Sam, you said Saturday night that your focus on right now is to make your case for the postseason. Mm -hmm. and with what happened in Iowa on Saturday night, you guys might not get to play for the Big Ten championship because Michigan lost. So does that? What's your response to that? Yeah, it's I'm just not really worried about stuff we can't control. We're going to control what we can control, and that's winning these next two games because if we don't do that nothing else matters and we just gotta we just gotta play these next two games well and we'll be one of the best teams in the country if uh, we handle our business it sounds like you feel pretty strongly about the resume you've established up to this point what what are you especially proud of i think we've really handled some tough environments on the road taking on highly ranked road opponents and just the, how the uh, level of play in the big 10 has increased so much We've had a tough schedule, and you know, you know it's not not really any easy game. So we're just we got to finish it out. Talk about environments on the road. You're going to Michigan State, who's had a rough year. Is does their record change at all? Uh, you know, you way the way you think about them going into into this football. I guess what are you expecting? I just I don't know why. I just have a feeling that they're going to play us hard no matter what, just because they always do, and we got to be ready for that. But you know they're going to bring their A game. And they're in, they're getting better every week. They just had a good game last week, and you know they're going to play us hard. So got to be ready. JT said earlier that if you guys win these next two, there's no way you're not in the final four. So you guys have to let that creep into your mind at some point. JT obviously had. Do you have any thoughts on that? I agree with them. You know, but uh, I don't see how we couldn't be, especially after we win these next two. And. Uh, that's all we can do is win these next two, and we'll be where where we're going to be. And uh, you know, it's up to the committee, but I think we've established ourselves as one of the best teams in the country. What sort of clicked for this team after Penn State? I think we got a wake-up call. You know, we weren't taking stuff for granted after that loss because a lot of the, the guys playing for us were had never experienced a loss before and didn't even think that could happen to us because we're the Buckeyes. But we don't take care of our stuff and uh, take care of the little things that can happen, and no one wants that feeling again. You saw what one loss did you guys? Can you imagine seven? Oh, yeah, right. that's that's uh, why I feel like they'll play us hard. I mean, I, I can't imagine what's going on in their program now and how badly they want this win to redeem their season. So we can't make but let that happen. But you know, we're going to win that recruited. The Ramirez Thomas story about the first time we saw you, you were playing dodgeball. Yeah. Did you ever think that a uh, dodgeball game would lead to an Ohio State scholarship? No, not at all. And uh, you know, I never even thought I was going to play football. But it's funny how things work out, and I'm glad to be at the place I'm at. Thanks. When you, when you were playing the dodgeball, were you aware that Urban Meyer was watching it? Yeah, he was in there. I didn't. He was just visiting the school to see a bunch of players. I didn't think I would get much interest because I was kind of off the the radar and off the the map just because I was already committed somewhere, but. Uh, it's pretty cool how uh, he saw me doing that. So. Did he tell you later? Like, hey, I saw you. I mean, ball, like he's sitting in my gym class. I'm not going to. I know he's he's looking at me. So, I mean, I'm not. Just how good were you at 
Uh, How good were you? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you guys saw that one video where we were playing like this last summer or something. Girls will make the face. Yeah. Taekwon yeah. said he was glad he was on your team. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I'm multi-sport athlete. <laughs> a better dodgeball player or a better lacrosse player? I have to go with lacrosse. Still miss it too much. Alrighty. Thank you, Sam. Thanks, yeah. Sam. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Sam.